guys, I wanted to take a moment today to share a DIY craft that I do to make our own fire starter. I'll share how well they work. Why don't you guys come along and follow Mima on her DIY. I use a lot in our house a candle warmer with a uh, scented wax melts and in the past I have just had to dump this melted wax down into the garbage I have come up with an idea and let me show you it when we stayed at AmeriCamps we actually bought at the convenience store there some fire starters um, that were locally made so they had taken a white um, portion cup which is this right here and they had a wick down inside of it where they had filled it with sawdust and wax. So I'm going to make some of those out of my used up wax melts and let's see how that goes. So one of the first things that I'm concerned about is I don't want to leave this um, metal end for the wick in the fireplaces. So I'm cutting this off and I ordered the three and a half inch wicks because I wanted it to be long enough to fit down in the bottom here and to burn all the way down. So I'm pushing this down like this. And then we had um, some trees actually removed. And so we had all of this sawdust, but you could also probably source that from local uh, carpentry cabinet making shop, uh, the bedding that you can buy from pet stores for things like hamsters. So I'm going to fill this up to where there's about, it's about halfway full with the sawdust. I have some used up candle warmers that no longer are, are scenting the house and I'm going to pour that wax in here and see how that sets up. Pouring the wax in, let's see. Okay, so I brought a little more because I don't think, I think I had underestimated how much wax was actually in. That's just one of my um, candle warmers too, guys. I actually use um, four in the house, so I may be able to make Four, four of these. This time I change out my candle warmers. Over there, and uh, let's let this, I'm gonna let these sit over here. Oh, uh-oh, that is a problem. Okay, so one of the first things I learned was these, even though they're supposed to be wax coated, will leak. So I went ahead and put some parchment paper underneath of, of these and uh, let's see how that goes now with our next one. Bend the wick down. I'm gonna fill this a lot more. Three quarters full though. Looks pretty much like the ones that we actually bought. This represents about two boxes, two small boxes of the, the wax melts. What I normally use for my wax melts are these Better Homes and Gardens that you can get at Walmart. They're usually around $2 per, per package. It's 2.5 ounces. I'll have the links for uh, these portion cups and these wicks that I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I'll have the product description in the description of the video for you guys. And if you guys have done anything similar, or have a different way of doing this, I would love to know. Peepaw came, actually came up with this idea. We're going to test how well those things work. Peepaw? Yeah, it's good stuff. We're able to use stuff we used to throw away exactly. to make fire starters. Exactly, so let's see how it goes, okay? All right, and we're using the one that was actually um, probably about only halfway filled up. I think we'll put that on the bottom, put the cup there. I want the wood close to the cup. Like a teepee. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's see how well this does. You know, I was close to kind of angle the wick over towards the paper. So it looks like that's actually catching fire over there. Oh yeah, look at that, see? So far it's doing like the one that we bought. How long have we aged that wood, that wood planking for, Peepaw? Oh, I don't know. It's been up there three or four years. We got flame started on at least one of the planks. 
and that was just within about two minutes of time don't you think the only cost that we had to this was getting those uh, portion cups and the wick also I read too where like if you have mostly used candles you can use like the last parts of your candles so we're thinking about you know you know how citronella candles never finish out in the bottom so we're thinking about doing doing those in there and look at how good that flames catching let me zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see how that's actually doing well i would be interested if you guys have tried something similar to this or if you have another kind of craft or suggestion that you do for having a fire starter we are all about learning from each other so you know drop that in the comments down below so it's been about 15 minutes since we lit the candle and look at how engulfed all of our starter wood is. All these logs that Peapod just put on. So what we did was we knocked down the wood that was already pretty much engulfed and uh, that has some coals starting on it. And this wood has been aged less than a year maybe even is it less than six months peepa so it's pretty new wood peepa yeah what are your hints for using the fire starters that we're using i think one of the things is to when you set the little fire starter down set it on either a pro previously burnt piece of wood or a new piece of wood that's on the bottom so that when the mat the wax melts it melts into the wood and continues to burn. If it's above on a grate or anything like that, then the wax will melt to the bottom and you don't get the benefit. I have to tell you, this was one of your better ideas. <laughs> it's nice to be right sometimes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs>